All right, welcome back, hope you're having a good day. If you notice, I don't really talk about my tools all that much, what tools I use, I don't really talk about how often I clean them or anything like that. And it's really just because I noticed that a lot of people in the hobby can get very particular about some things. I mean, I've actually gotten a couple emails from people that say that they stop watching my channel because I say bonsai instead of bonsai. I think mean, it's kind of ridiculous. I mean, I'm not really sure that those are the kind of people I really want watching the channel anyhow. But I do know that there's a lot of people that are very particular about what you know tools they use and they clean them and they oil them between each tree every day, you know, whatever the case may be. I've never done that. I don't do that. I just don't talk about it all that much. I really just kind of made my channel as a little bit of just I'm having some fun. Also a good bit is just because there's not that many people with channels uh, here in Florida or where it's actually tropical and they're handling tropical trees where they can actually keep them outside all the time. There's a few people, but they don't really make that many videos. And a lot of the best videos I've seen have been from Indonesia or even Taiwan, which are very hard for somebody that speaks English to understand. So I figured I'd just make some stuff doing some demonstrations. About a week ago, maybe two weeks ago, I got an email from a company saying they'd like to send me a toolbox and they'd like me to do a little unboxing video with it. And I thought, do I really want to do that? Like, what if it comes and it's really, you know, kind of like stuff I really wouldn't use or wouldn't like. And I've just decided I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'll try to be as objective as I possibly can. Again, all they did, you know, I appreciate the uh, tools being sent, give you my honest opinion of them. Uh, you know, first off, before I even get started, it is uh, from a company called Zellerman. I'll put the link in the description and everything. Long story, the box is already open. Right after I told these people yes in their email, I'd, I'd take the tool set. I got a box in the mail from FedEx. You know, I thought, well, I didn't order anything, so that must be what this is. And so I, I set it off to the side. I figured I wouldn't open it, and I'd, I'd wait until I could do the video. Then I ordered some stuff from Amazon, and then this box came. I opened it right up, and you know, I thought it was my stuff. It's about the right size for what I ordered and everything, and sure enough, it's this little toolkit. So the box is already open, and you know, just to let you know, the other box had a remanufactured alternator in it. It was addressed to me. I have no idea how I got it. I hate working on cars. So here it is. You know, here's the little pouch that it comes in. And so let's take a look at what's in here. And let's see what we got. So let's see here. Add some little, and here's what I see at first. There's some slots here for some holders. Some of it fell out, but I mean, they, you know, that's gonna happen during shipping. I guess first things first is I will go ahead and just pull out these gloves that I'm most likely not gonna use. I have to admit from the picture that I saw these, you know, of these on Amazon, I thought they were a little more old lady type gloves. And actually they're not too bad. I don't I don't like wearing gloves all that much because I feel like I lose so much dexterity. I don't like the way I can't really feel things between my fingers all that well. If I was into it, I would use these. If I was trying to, you know, do any detailed pruning with that pencil cactus or anything like that, I would. Of course that's not a container that's in the ground outside. And set those off to the side. Now, this. I super appreciate them sending this. I could always use a smaller one of these if you do watch my videos as a root rake. I have a really big one that I got from a big box store. Nice to have a little bit of a smaller one. Sometimes I just use the corner instead of, you know, all the prongs because then they're pulling on all the roots where if you just use the corner. But this would be great for some of my smaller trees. Do appreciate that. I'll use that. Uh, let's see a little shovel here. This is actually... Nice and solid, a little bit better quality than I thought it would be. Two different sizes, a little bit bigger than the other. Definitely use that, use that maybe even some more with my succulents that I don't necessarily always do on camera. I do some of those on camera, but it's not bone size, so I don't uh, necessarily do all the work I do that with that on camera. I did see this one's in the pouch. I did see that they called this an air blower. Not all that certain why you'd want to blow air on one of your trees. And then this is, you know, surprisingly enough, with when this was sent, I've actually had uses for tweezers several times. 
and I keep forgetting to look for them. There's no way I'm paying the price that most of the uh, you know most of the sites that are advertising that they're bonsai. No way I'm paying the prices that they ask for tweezers. But this one here with a little bit of a drop down handle on there, and then these straight tweezers. Again, from the pictures, look like really cheap stuff, but this is actually a solid set of tweezers there. Now these, this is a good little scoop. This is good, this good for scooping soil, and I could actually fill those up with this. I like that. Now these, for my purposes, I think might be a little bit small. This. I joke around sometimes about using my my American chopstick, which is actually my fork. This I would use as a chopstick. This does seem to have some kind of measuring tool on here too. This is another scoop, really small, really wouldn't fit much soil. Perhaps maybe some, you know, really, really small. And then there's some wire here. I think it said there was two wire rolls of one and a half millimeter wire. One roll of one. And I think this green, I think this green wire here might be some 0.75, I think the, the kid said. I don't know why it had to be a different color than the other ones. Small rolls, but again, if this was like a beginner's tool set, I'd do most everything with 2 or 2.5. I actually needed uh, to order some of the smaller stuff. This might tie me over for a little while. Again, just for somebody that has like a tree or two, especially small ones, it's good enough. Nothing else on that side. And then let's go to the other side here. So we've got all this wrapped up really well. All right, so they had that wrapped in there really well. It's a pair of wire, cut wire cutters. It's got the spring. The pair I usually use does not have the spring. The pair I usually have is a pair of wire cutters from a big box store. This pair is a little bit smaller. Good pair. I'll use them for sure. I'm actually very glad that these are a little bit better quality than I thought they'd be. I was going to feel really guilty if I had to say a bunch of bad things about them. Spring loaded pruners. Has the strap there to hold them together when you're not using them. Usually I'm used to a little thumb button up here that would hold them together. They appear to be sharp metal handles. I saw on uh, the Amazon uh, the Amazon link that they have. They read through it a little bit more carefully on Amazon after I told them I'd take it and do the unboxing video. It says that the entire set is plastic and these are even metal. Even the handles are metal. Looks and seems usable to me. Sometimes you never know how it goes over time. It is good and sharp. It's the bypass where only, you know, you'll just have, when I first started, I, it took me a minute to figure out what that meant, but what that means you have the, uh, you know, you can have anvil type or just one sharp blade, and then this piece here mainly is just to kind of vise it together, cuts it off. And then let's see what we got here. A pair of scissors, appear to be nice and tight. I do like that. Usable especially for smaller stuff. I could have used them to cut the uh, plastic off those wire cutters I had just a second ago. And then we got the pruners here. When I see people using these, I do see them using them a lot with evergreens, pines, things like that. I don't have any evergreens like that. These really do appear to be nice and solid. Appear to be sharp. Usually you look for a little bit of play. There has to be some, otherwise it wouldn't move, obviously. They appear to be nice and solid there, but sometimes I'd use something even cheaper and save these for something a little more where I'm working with things closely. And then these, a little bit longer reach on them. Again, seems to be about the proper amount of play. I've never really had a pair of these that I bought specifically for bonsai, so don't really have all that much to compare them with. They seem nice. Three pieces left here. All three are the same thing. You know, I have been thinking 
you know, since I since I looked to see what this uh, set was, there have been some times that I have I have seen these in use, like uh, people use them in other videos, and I really just have been trying to have a hard I've been having a hard time remembering what it was that they use these for. But I do remember on more than one occasion I was thinking, you know, those would be awfully nice to do this with. And I just, I can't think of where I get really pre precisely in there like that. I only have the one juniper that I work on. And again, I don't have any other kind of evergreens or conifers or anything like that. But I do see these being useful at some point. I'm going to guess maybe that they kind of wear out. They do, you know, there are on a spring here too where they come open every time, you know, where you don't have to open them every time. And maybe that's why they send three of, I was looking on the thing on Amazon and it does, you know, they do appear to be the same size and everything. Perhaps the, the spring loaded part doesn't last as long as you might think it would. So they give you three of them. All right, I had to go and look and try to clarify a couple things. And then also I was counting up the tools here and it wasn't coming out to 25. I did miss this part in here is a uh, supposed to be a repotting pad. You know, maybe for a couple, maybe for a small type of bonsai or something, you wanted to work on it on your coffee table or something like that. It's a nice thought, I guess. So I have to say, you know, Zellerman, I appreciate the opportunity to do this. It turned out to be a lot more quality of a set than I thought. I'm going to hit the negatives here first. One negative, I can do with or without this. Uh, the other negatives are, you know, this I'll probably make some use of. I might be able to kind of, you know, just something I wouldn't expect or, you know, think that think of the look of in a tool set. Uh, but especially these three, the, these are a little toy-like, anything I'd ever use. And then this thing here, uh, maybe I'm missing something. Maybe other people do use this all the time. I have no idea. But everything else I do, you know, a lot higher quality than I thought. I can see getting some use out of these. And this other little shorter pair here feel a little bit better in the hands than some of my tools do. I will continue to use them. I'll let my audience know how these things last over time. Try to use them on the uh, appropriate size material. And like I said before, I don't really like to talk about how much I pay for things, even my trees, tools, anything. I just don't like to bring stuff like that up. Really just try to be a demonstration channel. But this is a $60 tool set. I mean, you know, I know that there's some, you know, plenty of cutters out there that are in the hundreds of dollars. So for a beginner, this would be great. I mean, you know, it's $59.99, nice little starter kit, just about everything you need in there. And I'll put the links that they gave me in the description. Again, Zellerman Tools. Thanks again.